Hello and welcome back to my channel, Cards by Melissa Miner. Today we're going to be learning a new technique called the Bokia Technique. But first, let's look at the club set that I'm going to be using. This is the March club set from the Stamps of Life. This is their Die Hard Club and this is called Beautiful Butterflies. And you can see here we do have some beautiful butterflies as well as lots of beautiful sentiments that go along with these butterflies. There's also coordinating dies that match. And uh, if you are not a club member, I do have an affiliate link listed down below. As always, I do appreciate when you use my links as that helps support me and my YouTube channel. You can also join using the coupon code Melissa M to earn 500 bonus points to spend in the Stamps of Life store. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm doing is I'm using a couple Distress Oxide inks and I'm just making a background for my butterflies and for this technique. So I'm using the colors of Worn Lipstick and my lightest color is gonna go here in the center. And then I'm going in with a darker color in the Picked Raspberry and I'm gonna go along the bottom and then all around the edges and I'm just gonna blend that in. Now I'll go back with the worn lipstick and just kind of get a better blend on there. You could do this with any two colors of Distress Oxide inks. You just need a lighter and a darker. And at the end of the video, I'll show you, I do use a couple oranges um, that I think you'll like as well. Okay, so that's the first step in this technique is just getting a pretty background. Then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make yourself a template with three different circle sizes. Um, with this one, I did cut this out on my Cricut, but if you have circle punches, um, you can use circle dies, whatever you have to make three different size circles. And then what you're gonna do is I'm using the powdered sugar uh, white ink from the Stamps of Life, and I'm just gonna go over um, and put circles one on top of the other and layer them just all around. And what the idea is, is there's an option on your phone for the bokeh technique. I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's like those, just the bright lights, and that's what it's supposed to resemble. And so I've done this before on scrapbook pages, um, and it's really fun here using the powdered sugar. You have to be careful because um, I'm not really letting the ink dry here. And you can see I do get a couple little spots here because I didn't let it dry in between. Um, but you just keep layering and you can apply a little more pressure in some areas and lighter pressure in others. And you're just gonna go around until you're happy with how your circles look. So I'm just gonna keep going around here and applying more circles, smaller and larger, and just keep layering them on top of each other, layer a smaller on top of a larger, and building this up. You can also do this with um, a lighter shade of Distress Oxide ink. And in one of my samples, I do this with the Spun Sugar. And I couldn't really decide if I liked the spun sugar better or if I liked the powdered sugar with the white. And I did um, a little poll on my Instagram uh, page and it was a toss up. It was 50-50. And so um, I did a couple samples in both here to show you. So here is the one with the powdered sugar and then here I'm showing you this spun sugar. And then here's the sample with the spun sugar. You can see the difference. I mean, there is a difference, but they're both pretty, I think. And then I got a new sewing machine, so I was kind of playing around on my sewing machine. I do not sew. <laughs> and so I was practicing, and so that's what those little lines were along the edges is I was just practicing my sewing. All right, I'm gonna take uh, the butterflies off of the carrier sheet and place them here in my mini Misty and I'm gonna get them inked up. I am gonna use the Spectrum Noir alcohol proof ink because I am planning on doing some alcohol ink coloring um, on my butterflies. I wanna get them colored up. So I'm gonna get them, get these nice and inked up. Do it a couple times here to get a good dark impression. And I like the way that looks. So I'm gonna take the outline die here for the butterflies. I'm a little off camera, I apologize. I'm gonna take this outline die here and I'm gonna put a little bit of tape down and I'm gonna 
run this through my die cut machine and then we're going to start our coloring. So there are inside dies where if you um, just want to stamp the uh, butterfly and not have the shadow, you can use that. If you want to have the detail, you can do that or you can do like I did with the shadow. Okay, so the colors that I'm using today are the aqua blue blend and that's the one I've started with. I'm also going to be using the colors of the true blue blend and the citrus blend. So just three markers and I'm really not doing a lot of shading or anything here. I'm just putting the color down on the majority of the butterfly and I'm only going to show one on camera, but I actually do color all three of the butterflies up in the same way. So I'm putting the lightest shade of the aqua blue blend down on the butterfly. And then the next color that I'm going to go in with is I'm going to take this citrus blend and I'm going to take the darkest color of the citrus blend and just color in the openings um, on the butterfly here. Now I'm not really worried about any shading here on these openings for the citrus blend because I'm going to do a treatment um, to this butterfly to really make it sparkle in just a moment. So um, I'm just putting some yellow down here. You could um, do some shading. Now the next color I'm bringing in is the True Blue Blend and I'm taking the darkest shade of the marker here to color in the body and then also the little detail, the dots along the edges. So I'm taking the darkest shade of the True Blue Blend. Then I'm coming in with the medium uh, shade of the True Blue Blend and just doing an outline of the edge. Um, and then I'm going to come back with my aqua blue blend, the lightest shade, and just blend that out just a little bit um, along the edges. And so it's not, like I said, not a lot of detail here, but just to give it a little pop of color. And then I'm going to come in with, um, I'm going to darken the body up just a little bit there. Then I'm coming in with my Nuvo Glitter Drops, and this is the color of Silver Moon Dust. If you have a glitter pen, you could use that. Um, any kind of glitter um, that you wanna use. I had this Silver Moon Dust that I really like. So I'm going in and putting glitter on the butterfly here. Okay, so the next thing, the thing, one thing I've done off camera here is I've cut these little leaves. Aren't these so pretty? These are from the Friends Forever dies. That's what this die set is called. And then off camera, I also cut my um, Bokia sheet down. I use the stitched A2 rectangles, the largest of that set, just to give it that stitching detail. And here's those stitched A2 rectangles. It just gives it that detail. Okay, so let me go ahead and start assembling this card. I'm bringing in my My Sweet Petunia glue press and I'm gonna get some glue put down and center this piece up. And this will be my card base. I am working on a card base that is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue these leaves down. Now I did cut these leaves out of the Kiwi card stock. Uh, now you could have inked the edges here, um, but I thought they were pretty and I didn't really need any ink, I didn't think on these. And I really wanted that bokeh technique to be the star as well as the butterfly. So I decided not to add ink to the edges of my leaves. So I'm gonna add one at the top and then I'm going to add another one here along the edge. And we'll get that glued down. Okay, and then I've taken the sentiment, one of the sentiments um, from the stamp set, and this one says, fluttering by to say hi. And I went ahead and stamped that, and I cut that out with my scissors, and then I used a little black pen, and I have um, just outlined that just to give it a little bit of detail. And now I'm taking a little bit of foam tape and I wanna put it along the edges of each of these butterflies just to give this card a little dimension. This card is pretty simple, but I think that the butterflies will really just be the pop that this card needs. 
So I'm gonna take my fingernail here, here and just bend up the edges of the butterflies just a bit. So just gonna kind of work with the butterfly wings a bit. So let me put a little bit more foam tape. And I'm just adding the foam tape along the center here and on that first butterfly I added it just where it glued down, leaving the wings so that they had a little bit of movement on them. And I'm going to follow the rule of three and put three butterflies on my card. And so, and I don't want any of them really facing away. I know that top one, I'm kind of deciding if it was facing away. I think it's kind of facing down is where I'm going with that. It's facing towards the leaves and in towards the other butterfly that I'm adding now. So I'm bending that again with my fingernail and I'm gonna get that pressed down. So pretty, look at all that glitter. Okay, and then I've taken some of these gems. These are like mirrored gems. These are so pretty. And I'm gonna add three gems to finish off my card here. And these gems, I build up my collection of these uh, usually uh, from gems that I receive in the Card Kit Club. And so I love being a member of the Card Kit Club as well because that helps me build up my stash of supplies. Okay, so that is um, my card for today. But I also have a couple other samples I wanted to bring in. So this middle, or these here are ones that I was practicing with my sewing machine. No judging here because... I'm a beginner, but I really liked the like, I don't know, unfinished edges along the sides. I think it kind of gave it its own um, detail. And then here I've used dried marigold and spiced marmalade. And I really like this one too. All right, so leave me a comment down below, which is your favorite card one, two, or three. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.